Hello and welcome back. Today, we will start Unit 8, All Living Things. In this unit, our subjects are going to be vocabulary, use of English, so am I, so do I, and relative clauses with which as a subject for now. Let's have a go with vocabulary. Please repeat after me. To breathe. To take air into your body and let it go at again. Mammals. They breathe with lungs. Their bodies are covered with fur or hair. They also have large brains in relation to body mass. Lungs. Lungs are inside our body and they fill with air when we breathe. Amphibians. The adults breathe with lungs. They can't keep a constant body temperature. They have a soft, wet skin with no scale. Reptiles. They breathe with lungs. They have dry skin covered with scales. They can't keep a constant body temperature. Shell. Shell is the hard outer cover of an egg. Feathers. Feathers cover a bird's skin and they keep it warm. Fur. Fur is a soft hair that covers the body of some animal. To breed. To breed is to produce babies. Scales. Small and flat pieces of a skin on a fish or a snake. Fins. The thin flat part of a fish that helps it to swim. Fins. Gills. It allows a fish to breathe. Gills. Skin is the surface of an animal's body. Carnivirus, a word which means meat eating. Seals and walruses, they are the types of marine animals. Pals. A word which is the feet of certain types of animals, like bears, cats, and rabbits. Webbed. An adjective to describe skin between an animal's toe. Webbed. Cub. A word for a baby bear. Unknown words. Interdreed. Very interested. He means me no harm. He wasn't going to hurt me. Too smooth. To move your hand across something to make it flat. To rub. To press and move your hand a cloth or an object over a surface. To dab. To touch something gently several times with cloth. Row. Skin that is red and painful because it has been rubbed too much. Hey. Dry grass. Bucket. A large container for carrying water. Stable. A place to keep horses. To smile broadly. To give a big smile. To stroke. 
to gently smooth the fur of an animal. To get along. To get on well. It suits you. It is right for you. Obstinate. Not willing to change your ideas. Instinctive. Natural. Bond of trust. An understanding that each will always be true for the other. Now it's time for use of English. So am I. So do I. To say that people are the same or do the same things, we use so plus verb plus, pronoun, or noun. If there is be, which is M is R, in the sentence, you should reply with, so am I. She's a teacher, so am I. I'm 16, so am I. If their verb is main verb, we need to use do, does, did, after so. I like apples, so do I. They want to go shopping, so do I. Practice time. Let's do it together then. Jason has finished his work. So has Bill. My brother hates broccoli. So do I. Helena arrived late for the meeting. So did Sarah. Joanna has got two brothers. So have I. I'm going to college next fall. So am I. The Martins are moving to Wyoming. So are we. I'm thirsty. So am I. I'm learning English. So am I. Relative clauses with which as a subject pronoun. Relative clauses. Defining relative clauses give us important information about a noun or a noun phrase. We don't use commas. By combining sentences with a relative clause, your text becomes more fluent and you can avoid repeating certain words. This is for relative clauses. And now it's time for relative clauses with which as a subject for now. With defining relative clauses, we use relative pronouns for people, who, that, whom, and whose. For things, we use which, that, and whose. The pronouns can be either subject or object pronouns. Object pronouns can be omitted from the sentence. Brian likes to live in Antonio. It has a good weather. So Brian likes to live in Antonio, which has got a good weather. Remember that when you join two sentences with which, you don't use the pronoun at the beginning of the second sentence. So as to understand this part properly, let's look at the examples. 
Sea otters have thick fur. It keeps them warm and cold. Sea otters have thick fur, which keeps them warm and cold. He got an excellent exam result. It made me happy. He got an excellent exam result, which made me happy. Thanks for watching.